I'm Joseph. I'm Mariana. And today we're in our local town of Fundau. We've come to Fundau today because we've had to pick up some family members from the train station. And they've come up today from, uh, from Sassimbra, which is Mariana's hometown. Sassimbra is an absolutely beautiful place. It's a fishing town just south of Lisbon. It's about 30 or 40 minutes south of Lisbon. So today we have with us... Constanza. Constanza. Hello, I'm Patricia, the most younger Mariana. Uh, and uh, I'm sure the girls are all rather hungry because they've just stepped off the train and it's a few hours, uh, few hours up here. So, um, so we're going to go to the restaurant now, try some local, local cuisine, and then, uh, and then I think we'll, we'll probably head back to the farm yeah. and do something else. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we're just getting into the restaurant now, and uh, yeah, this is a this is a nice restaurant. We've been here a couple of times before, and uh, and yeah, they serve pretty good food. So yeah, <laughs> let's go. Isso é tua? Sim. E nós vamos regar as girassóis. Queres? Que tal? A gente vai agarrar. Por aqui. Regar? Queres ajuda? Não. Muito bem. E a próxima? E esta? Este. Assim? Oh, muito bem, muito bem. Agora acaba. E esta? Oh, queres eu? Oh, muito pesado. Isto? Um pouco mais? Sim. Próxima. É muitas, não é? Muito bom, muito bom. Chega, acho que eu. Próxima. Oh, muitas. Ai, mãe, agora chega, depois chega, ok. Espera aí, que eu, que eu preciso. Olha, está a ver até uma 
So, me and Dad are down here at our local lake, Barajem de Pisco. We've left the girls all at home, they're having a nice day. So, Mariana, her two sisters, Vera and Patricia, and of course, our dear little niece, Constanza. <laughs> so, me and Dad are here today. It's a lovely overcast day, which is the perfect conditions for trying to catch bass. The bass can see you through the clear water when, it's, when the sun shines on it. So, you get a couple of clouds in the way like this, and it makes it absolutely perfect for trying to get a nice, a nice sized bass. Well, it's the first day of the season today. The season in Portugal here runs from the 1st of July right through to the following year, March the 14th. So we're right at the very beginning of the season here, so I don't hold too much hope, but you never know, we might. So <laughs> let's get the rods in the water. Okay, we've just about finished fishing for the day and uh, I didn't have too much luck. I was spinning and Dad was float fishing with a worm and he, uh, he appears to be man of the match today. He got six little largemouth bass and I told him he should have got six large little mouth bass but oh well, what can you do? <laughs> As we didn't get any fish for supper, we're going to have to go back to the farm and we're going to have to forage for our supper. So I know, I know just what to do, I'm going to get Constanza to help me. <laughs>
Now many people would probably agree that what I'm hunting for today is actually rather a sinister sight. Some may go as far to say as the gardener's bane. Today we're foraging for one of the most easily recognisable plants across the whole planet. And most people learn to identify this plant when they're only a few years old. So today I've got my basket, I've got some gloves and I've got my clippers. Let's go see if we can find some. So today, as you might have already worked out, we're picking stinging nettles, or in Portuguese, urtiga. And a good thing to remember when picking stinging nettles is really, you only want the young tender tips of the plants. So it really does save time and effort later on in the kitchen if you take them off at source and leave those tough stems behind on the plant. Another good thing to remember when picking stinging nettles is don't pick them when they're flowering because the flowering in stinging nettles brings out a chemical inside them that can, that can interfere with the body's kidneys. So it's really a good thing to, to get in there in the early spring or summer when, uh, when they haven't started flowering yet. And it looks like here I might just be in time. So whilst hunting in the undergrowth for stinging nettles, me and Mitzi here, we sat underneath this, uh, this lovely grapevine and we found the most curious little plant behind us. It's a cuckoo's pint, or commonly known as a lords and ladies. And it's not a, it's not a very pleasant plant to say the least, it's rather toxic um, <laughs> in, the, in the early springtime. It has this gorgeous big white triangular lily-like flower. But then once the, once the spring fades and we come into summer, the flower wilts and drops into the soil and you're left behind these big green, big green clusters of, of, of berries and they're not berries that you'd want to put in your pie I can tell you they turn they turn from green to orange and then red and it's a most vibrant vibrant holly berry red and uh, yeah they contain oxalic oxalic crystals the whole plant contains it and uh, they can be likened the crystals can be likened to uh, to tiny sharp little shards of glass so obviously it could be really quite nasty if you eat them they can irritate for days but um, normally the most common problem is not that not that people eat them but when they go out camping or whatnot, they uh, they get caught short, and uh, and they need some toilet paper. <laughs> so they use these leaves, and the result's not pleasant. I can I can imagine. <laughs> Come on, mate, let's go. Yeah, 
So we're back in the farmhouse, we're in the kitchen, and today we're gonna to be doing a summer favorite of mine. This dish is absolutely perfect as a starter if you've got guests over for a barbecue or something like that. It's a lovely cool dish. So today we've got plums and apricots, our nettles that we foraged, and we're gonna be doing a gazpacho. <laughs>
<laughs> so we've had an absolutely fantastic week on the farm this week. Marianna's had her family up, we've been fishing, and we've done some foraging. The three Fs. <laughs> so Marianna's sisters, Vera and Patricia, have been, been up here from Sesimbra this week. You're smelling the flowers. And, um, <laughs> and our dear little niece, Constanza, which is Vera's daughter. And, uh, and Constanza's had a lovely week on the farm. I, th I think they all have, but Constanza's been collecting eggs with me every day. She's watered the veg patch with me. And she's even had time to pick some, pick some plums and apricots. So that's been really, really lovely. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, we've been, we've been fishing. And uh, it's the very beginning of largemouth bass fishing season right here in central Portugal at the moment. And, uh, and Dad actually caught, caught six small little largemouth bass. And I'm definitely not jealous that I didn't catch any. <laughs> And we've also been foraging. We've gathered some nettles, some stinging nettles, and we made a nice gazpacho out of those. So, um, so it's been a good week on the farm, and we thank you all for watching. Um, we hope to see you again next week. And I'd just like to say as well that we've, uh, we've started a, uh, a Patreon account. So if you'd, uh, if you'd like to contribute to these vlogs and, and help me continue making them, then please consider contributing a little bit to our, to our Patreon account. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. See you all again next week. <laughs>